Yo, 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 what's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Raw game, what's good? I'm here to give you that raw game. I got something good for y'all today, today, today. I got something really good for y'all. Y'all gonna like this. You know we all about credits, business, financial funding, uh, fin being financially free, boosting credit scores, getting... Um, assets, real estate, promoting our business, funding our business. We about all of that and then some. So I'm here to give you that game. Man, like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. It really, 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 really means a lot to me. I appreciate you guys for watching. Continue to do so. Also, leave comments in the comment section and join my free school group where you'll see Raw Game, R-A-W-G-A-M-E, Appreciate you. Well, we'll be there collaborating, sharing some of everything so we can learn from one another. Today, 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 we've been talking about business credit, personal credit. We've been talking about all kind of hacks. I got a good hack, good, good hack. And this is also will save some money. Now, we all know, you know, the whole goal is to, you know, it's the business side to get business funding and to put things in our business names. But if you can't, and if, it, yeah, if you can't do so and things aren't together right now, but this is for you guys whose credit score is good or excellent. You just can't have a poor credit score and do any of these things that I talk about, but you can work towards that to achieve that. But I'm gonna talk about uh, getting refinanced. As we all know, uh, credit unions are different than, you know, banking institutions, bigger banking institutions. Uh, credit unions are, for the most part, uh, customer-based. They're really for the customers more. And credit unions usually offer lower interest rates for customers. But I'm going to talk about how you can get uh, refinance if you're in a car loan right now and you may be paying a high interest rates or um, you're looking to get a lower interest rates. And I'm going to give you something. Watch this video to the end. Something you could do towards the end uh, to get a couple extra bucks. But how you could just refinance for that lower rate if you're looking to do so with Navy Federal. Now, there's three different ways that you could do this. You could either go into one of the branches. You could do it over the phone and speak with a rep. Or you can do it online. Now, in order to refinance with Navy Federal, you do have to be a Navy Federal member or you can't use or you won't be entitled to any of their products. And as I always say, uh, have a relationship with Navy Federal. So, but as far as refinancing, if you're a new member, I could say you could do this immediately. You could do this right away. But I always say, you know, use some of their products, give them 30 to 90 days or whatever. But you can do this immediately and if you do this online what you're basically going to do is you're going to go to that little three little dots at the bottom that says more then go to auto then you go to applications and you basically just fill out the application now some of the things you're going to need when you're refinancing even if you talk to a live rep walk in or on online you're going to need the, the vin number uh, the mileage that's on your vehicle and you're going to need that 10 to 14 day payoff. You're also going to need, of course, the lender's name and phone number. And you're going to need your um, your loan number. So they need that to um, get things started so they can know the correct information. And if you do it online, oh, it's so, it's man, it's so easy breezy. You know what I'm saying? So some people don't like or getting up and going into you know, banks, they may be crowded, but like I say, sometimes going in, you could develop a relationship, you know, with a personal banker, but you don't have to. You can do this online. Now, typically when you do this online, it'll tell you um, if you're approved um, immediately or it may take two to 48 hours, you know, to get the final approval and things of that nature. And... Uh, I, I just think it's it's a really really good tool, and basically, 
nine times out of ten, they're not going to ask you for uh, any docs or any income. Nine times out of ten in most instances. So that's great. That's a great thing right there. And it's fairly simple. So based off the of information that you gave them, they're going to tell you, you know, your rates, um, how many months when you're filling out the application, you're going to uh, put how many months you want to finance it for, how much for, and then boom, you approve. And basically what you do is you're going to sign a promissory note. You sign a promissory note, the necessary documents, and they, what Navy Federal is going to do is they're going to mail you a check, which you should and supposed to mail to your lender. Now, don't do like, I know a while back there was um, a hack going on how you could change a, a, a auto loan into a personal loan by doing what I'm telling you to do, but not actually using that check <laughs> for the auto loan, but using it some, for something else and turning it into a, a personal loan. Don't do that. Do not do that, I repeat. That's old and that's played out. But yeah, after you sign a promissory note, they're gonna mail you that check or whatever, and you send that check to your old lender, and then now Navy Federal becomes the um, the loan owner. Now you got your lower interest rate. Now this is the part I wanted you to watch to the end, but guess what? I'm only here to advise you. I'm not here to tell you to do this. And let's just say you got into a jam or whatever. You couldn't pay your car note or, you know, things was um, not looking so good for you. Man, if you refinance with uh, Navy Federal, it's like you buying yourself 60 days, you know, uh, before you pay your for first car note. Because, you know, sometimes when we go to dealerships and we get our new cars and, you know, we put the money down, we don't have to pay a note for the first 45, 60 days. So you're doing the same thing uh, with Navy Federal, you know, when you refinance with them, you won't have to pay that first note between the first 45 and 60 days. I'm not advising you to do this. I'm just giving you guys the information. I'm just giving y'all raw game, what you could do if you wanted to do it. And then guess what? On top of that, for transferring your loan over to them, Navy Federal is going to give you 200 200 in cash, but there are some stipulations. The loan amount must be um, 5K or more, and you must have it for over 60 days, and you must uh, make at least one minimum payment. So you're going to get $200 too as well uh, for transferring that loan over. Man, this is really, really, really some game right here. Man, let me know if you guys plan on doing this or if you do this, and let me know what happens. Thank you.